everybody, I am Dr. Tukas Banusenova and I welcome you again on my channel I Dr. Tutsi. Today we're going to talk about networking in ophthalmology. What is networking? Networking is about making connections and creating a beneficial and mutual relationship. I believe that for the young ophthalmologists, the best way of creating networking is the congresses. And no matter local or international congresses we're talking about. So where you can meet so many interesting people and make a different interesting discussions in any uh, field of ophthalmology. So there are questions we are going to discuss today and we we're going to discuss all these questions separately. We're going to talk uh, about what you have to do for the networking, what are the benefits for the networking, about mistakes of networking and what should you start with. So let's get started. First question is where do I start? First of all, be yourself. Networking events are meant for relationship building. Don't try to be the person you think other wants to meet. Simply be yourself and it will make the things easier. Next step is smile. We all have problems, but when you enter the room, try to leave all your negativity, all your negative impressions during the day or problems out of the room because it gives the really nice impression when you smile and talk with the people having this nice and positive appeal. Next, engagement. Of course, we are not talking about the real engagement with a ring, but we are talking about the engagement of a topic. When you talk with a, your a conversation partner, first of all, try to keep eye contact. Show with all your attitude, with all your body moves that you're really engaged and interested in what you're talking about. This is really important. Believe me, body language sometimes can tell you more than your talk with words. The next question, what you should do actually for networking? I will tell you everything based on my experience. First of all, you have to learn. Believe me, as you are a young ophthalmologist and once you are done with your residency or you are at the residency actually, you learn a lot as you do usually in the medical sector. So just learn. And when you do your residency in ophthalmology, for example, when it was me, I was specifically interested in different topics. And when I was really interested, I was reading a lot. I was reading different articles. I was comparing one article with another one. And then when you read a lot, you understand that, wow, there is just one author which, uh, whose articles actually you are really uh, liked or you find them really, really interesting. Believe me, congresses and different meetings are the perfect place where you can just talk with those people. So that's why learning is like a fundamental of everything, of all your starts. Ask questions because whatever you read or whatever you do for your education, you will always have questions and don't feel that or don't feel embarrassed or don't be ashamed of asking questions because this is just the best way of learning. If you don't ask, it's, it will take you really long until you get your answer for your own questions or you will have to learn so many uh, literature actually or maybe just there is an answer just in front of you but you will just miss it. That's why asking questions for your, men uh, your mentors or any other professionals is the best way of improving yourself. The next is sharing knowledge. Networking is great for sharing ideas and knowledge. It will help you to expand know-how and allow you to see things from another perspective. You will never develop if you just keep everything what you know for yourself. Uh, by sharing your knowledge, you animate others to do the same and therefore expand your own horizon of knowledge. The next is collaboration. Since you're not the only one who is engaged with ophthalmology and there will be always someone who is really better than you, try not to compete or compare yourself with those people. Just try to be uh, nice and try to collaborate with those who is really professional. It's always nice because you can learn so many things with those people. And believe me, team working is always better than uh, lonely working. Then keep in touch. 
It's often uh, said that networking is where a conversation begins but not ends. There is a 48 hours rule. So when, once you meet someone and make a nice con conversation and discussion about something, you can just within two days email this person, tell him how great, how great it was to meet him and have this discussion and try to keep in touch with them, with him, uh, with that person and just be updated in one and another topic which you already discussed. And nowadays we have so many uh, social networking which allows you to keep in touch easily. The next question is uh, what are benefits of networking? So first of all opportunities. Just make sure you are not jumping on board with the uh, every opportunity which comes on your way. May try to think before you do your decision and uh, before you do your right decision. So, but this is for sure that networking gives you a lot of opportunities. Next benefit is connections. It's not what you know, but who you know. Networking provides you with a great source of connections and really opens the door to talk to highly influential people. Uh, that you wouldn't otherwise be able to easily talk to, no find. The next connect through connections. Remember, you are not just gaining exposure to people in the room, you are building connections with their network too. So for example, when you have a discussion with someone, you during a discussion may be offered from that person and that person will introduce you to another person. So this is the how connection through connections works. So this is only uh, also a very great benefit of networking. The next ben uh, benefit is advice. Having like-minded colleagues to talk to also gives you the opportunity to get advice. For example, when you discuss one project or when you're doing something, you can talk with a colleague and this colleague who already had the experience of uh, doing the same what you do at the moment may give you really good uh, advice and help you to avoid any mistakes which you may have. The next is positive influence. For me uh, personally, when I go to any seminar or congress and when I listen interesting topics or uh, when I am just taking part in the dis interesting discussion, it gives me a lot of positive energy and it motivates me really good. And when I talk with these ambitious people or scientists who is working so hard and uh, they are so in love in everything what they do, it gives me just a relief of energy and uh, it's really nice feeling. So it's really good benefit. The next, increased confidence. Networking is great for people that are not confident as it uh, really pushes them to grow. So when we talk and meet different kind of people and when we realize that it's actually good just to be yourself and to talk easily what you do, uh, it increases your confidence. You just realize that this socializing, uh, it's very simple. You just go, you talk and Everything goes by its own and increase, it increases confidence and the next uh, is just a step forward for personal growth. And by taking the steps to improving yourself and connecting to people, you are moving your career forward. Not only personal, not only growing personal, but also uh, you get a really good benefit in your professional uh, work. The next benefit is friendship. Making new friends and socializing is an important aspect of our human nature. Many friendships form as a result of networking because you are all like-minded colleagues. Next uh, question is, uh, now we're gonna talk about the biggest networking mistakes. What we shouldn't do when we uh, create our own networking. So first of all, we shouldn't wait. We shouldn't wait in the corner of the room thinking that, yeah, there should be someone who will just approach me and to talk. I can share you my own experience when I was um, in Belgium at the Pediatric and Strabismus Congress. And it was my first Congress after Strabismus Fellowship in Turkey. And actually when I went there, I didn't know anybody and there was no one from my country. So 
I was really enjoying uh, all the lectures and it was really interesting for me. But on the break time, I was standing alone at the table, at the little round table like this and drinking my coffee. And I was just looking around and really couldn't make any new, any step to start talking with someone. And I didn't know how to do it actually. So, but there was uh, just next to me another table of young ophthalmologists and they were talking uh, and they had really interesting talk and they just looked at me and invited me to their group. This was really nice feeling and yeah, after that we just talked, I met so many interesting colleagues after that and the next two days we had also dinner all together and and uh, I met also a very nice lady who gave me the book which she wrote. It was about visual field, uh, visual field, like how you have to analyze and etc. And she sent me this book to Baku the next uh, few weeks when I was already back. And actually this book I took to my clinic and many colleagues of mine read this book. I really enjoyed it. So this is how it simply worked. I was invited to a group of young ophthalmologists, we talked, then I met another doctor, then I met another one, then we talked, she sent me the book. So this is how simply it works. So don't wait and just be active in and uh, socialize with people. The next mistake is afraid to ask. Whenever and whatever you ask only shows how strong you engage to the topic and you desire to learn. Uh, there are many people who just uh, really shy or embarrassed to ask questions because they're afraid to be um, judged from other people and thinking like, ah, oh, such a stupid questions. Believe me, there is no stupid questions. As long as you want to learn something, there, no, there is no stupidity. Next, uh, being selfish but selfless. Believe me, it's not only about you who tries to build the network, but also others. If someone uh, in your network matches the interest uh, you encounter and, uh, at an event, don't hesitate to share those details. It will only strengthen your relationship. Just try to be helpful. If you talk with someone and you realize that you can help this someone with, by giving advice or by introducing him to someone else, just do it because this will uh, only show how positive a person you are and it will give just a very positive impression about you. The next being a card spammer or pushy. There are many people who just try uh, to talk about themselves always highly or just to give someone so much information about yourself without being asked to actually. So this is really wrong because you just um, push too much and you just bother a little bit too much. So don't do that and try not to uh, give your business card until you are not asked for. And that is uh, basically it. So thank you for watching this video. I hope it will be very informative for you. This is how we should create our networking. I think this is the compact information for the young ophthalmologists who just begins their career. Thank you for watching this video again and I'm wishing you a very good day. Hope to see you again in my next video. Have a good day. Bye.